Hey, this is Homa from Homa Studio, and I have a quick little announcement here I wanted to make just in between all the other videos about AI and some other resources that I use as I'm putting together videos and as I'm learning, because I'm always learning and I'm always learning new things, and I don't know everything, and I try to share it when I do learn things, so I just wanted to point this out here in between videos before we get to the next video where we're going to do CSS, but I just wanted to mention when I started learning Flask, I learned from... Brad Schiff of Learn Web Code. He has 338 subscribers. He explains things very well and he goes slow and he uses very basic examples and I like that and that's the way I try to do my videos as well. So this is a great YouTube channel if you ever want to learn more web development. Hopefully I'll get to the point where I'll have this many subscribers and be able to do this full time but I really like his videos. I also started off with Traversy Media. You probably heard of him. Everybody's probably heard of him. He has 2 million subscribers. That's insane. And he has so many good videos. Now he doesn't go quite as slow as Brad Schiff, and sometimes he doesn't explain things quite as quite as well, uh, at least for beginners in some cases. I mean, he's really super smart and has tons of videos, but another great resource to go through, one of the best out there, another one is The New Boston. Now, he doesn't have as much web development, but he has programming, all kinds of stuff here. Great stuff to check out. Bucky Roberts, New Boston, also goes through learning very slow, which I like, and explains things in very simple terms. And I'll mention one more here. Occasionally, I'll buy a Udemy course, especially when they're on sale uh, around Christmas time or something like that, and you could get them, you know, a quarter of the price or whatever. I've done his MySQL boot camp, and also I've gone through the Web Developer Boot Camp. Not all of it, but there is a Flask section in there that I learned some. So I, I tend to learn from different people and kind of bring my own feel to it and experiment and try new things. Now, one other thing that I've been using more lately is using AI and chat GPT. Now, I do not use this to just find answers and to have it solve code for me. Sometimes I won't be sure on where to kind of go and it'll give me some ideas. And let me tell you, chat GPT is never 100% correct. I've never just copied code from here and put it in somewhere and it worked. And what I like to do is kind of experiment with some of the code and then ask questions because all these videos here, you could post comments and things like that, but you don't always get a question answered. And sometimes it's something very basic. You don't have time to wait a week or two for someone to respond to an answer. But the nice thing about chat GPT is I could say, well, why are you using this line of code? And what does that mean? And what is Jinja 2 code? And why am I importing this? And can I do this instead? Can I try this? And I can send code and say, what about this? Will this work? And why am I getting an error when I do this? So it's kind of like having a mentor with you and an instructor with you that you can ask any time. And again, it's not perfect. It doesn't always supply me with code that works all the time. I'll try it and I'll be like, this isn't working. And then the next time I go to ask about it, chat will give me different codes so it's never really consistent but I do find it a great place to go and ask questions ask all those why questions why am I doing this can you explain more about Jinja 2 can you explain more about Flask and why would I use Flask over Django and questions that may be asked of me from my students and I try to anticipate some of that well oh a student might ask well why am I doing this and why am I doing that and I want to know that so it, it's a great learning tool to kind of do that to ask questions questions and then when I record videos I can explain things a little better. Now again I'm not perfect, chat's not perfect, none of these guys are perfect but I, I kind of use all these resources all together to help you know learn as much as I can and I, I love learning and I love teaching too so I just want to point that out so some great YouTube channels out there some great resources and use chat GPT use the AI to kind of help you and use it as a mentor to ask questions and find out all the why and give you more descriptions of what's going on behind the scenes and I think that's really helpful. Again, not perfect but it's really nice to have and it happens instantly whereas putting a comment on a YouTube channel sometimes isn't instantly. So I just want to point that out and then we're going to move on to our CSS in our next Flask video.